everyone. We're here at Happy House today. Come to say hello to you at long last. I'm sorry, I seem to have been missing off the blog for a while, but oh, it's been rather hectic, but uh, productive. I'll tell you all about it. Got some of our lovely little boys with me today, and you are? Leslie. And how old is Leslie? Eight. My name is David Ewadante Nathan. My name is Steve, I'm 11 years old. My name is Edward, I'm 11 years old. I'm in grade 3. So, we've got the men of the house around today. Um, we've had a busy time of it because with the coronavirus and getting the school back into running order and Oh, they keep changing the dates of the terms and it's been a bit confusing and then it's been all exams, the children are always having exams. I hope you enjoyed receiving them, those of you who do sponsor the children. They are doing well, they're doing very well, but you know what kids are, we keep pushing them and uh, they revise, don't you? Yes. So it's, it's very nice, it's nice how it's all working out because years ago, People asked, oh, what will happen to all those kids when Sue can't do it and what, when they want to retire? Well, I think this is like the Queen. I think it's a job for life, really, but I love it and I'm glad I've got it. But, you know, things are moving on now. Evans is here taking this. He came 11 years ago as a little boy with Janet, his sister, and his brother Oscar, who was only three. And Evans now has passed all his exams at secondary school and he's training to be a manager here. He always wanted to be from 11, 12 years old. He wanted to work here. Now, dreams come true, Evans. Yes, they have. <laughs> he didn't realize how hard, hard I am with him, though. But we've got to have it done properly. I have a way of doing things, and the only way is that way. So, and it, it, cause it works. It's tried and tested, and it works. So his sister, Janet, now, she's training to be a teacher. When the pandemic came, it was all hands on deck and uh, Janet was teaching the kids here at home and now she decided she's on a course, a part-time course for teaching at the small ones, the little kids, and then she'll get a certificate and then a diploma and she's teaching at school, obviously she works for us at school. I've got one of the boys, um, Isaac, well I'm saying the boy's a young man, he's 24. When we did the scholarship scheme a few years ago, there was him and his brother and we only did one child per family, so we could help more families. And um, Isaac, gave, he passed the exam more than the brother, but he gave his place up for the brother to take it. But I gave Isaac a job here, and he was doing all sorts of different things. He's, you know, handyman gardening, everything. He's very, and he's a good worker. He does night shifts for the Ascaris, and he's a good worker, but he's a very bright young man. So what I've done with Isaac is I've put him on a training course at the computer. He's here at the moment, he's working for us this next two weeks, and then I'm moving him to school. But he has been going to the computer room, and he's going to do remedial classes for the little ones at first. And the boy who's teaching him, Nazri, he was also one of my scholarship children. So that's, it's lovely that the kids are all at home. I teach. Before I let them go, you know, I give them very rigorous tests with the wings that make sure they can fly, but they only seem to be able to fly outside the gate. They don't, can't get any further. But Evans is living independent, as Janet Nasri always has done. Uh, Isaac's never lived here, but he's always been here and been around. And So it's lovely. I'm surrounded by all these energetic young people who really want to carry on with the happy house as it is now. And it's lovely. It's a lovely feeling. It gives me some peace of mind. Dave and I, we do need days now where we stay at home together and we want to do that. But I know I've got Rose and Velma here and it just runs perfectly and Evans is now helping. So it is lovely, it is uh, just how I want it to be. I'm so happy with everything. The kids are happy and healthy. We've got exams again, um, they start on Tuesday. So all exams, honestly, the kids have so many exams, but we know where they're up to and how they're doing. So. I always say, well, we'll see if your marks have gone up, we'll see what we can do nicely. So, um, we'll have to, I'm keeping a few things as a surprise. We're doing kids' club later, so, but we always do something nice. And the week after next, they'll be on holiday. So, we'll have a week off and we can do something nice with them all. So, <clears throat> and you think, this is our David. You remember David came, <coughs> excuse me, he came as a foundling. He was a very poorly baby and they, they thought he had some learning difficulties but he's been kidding us all this time. 
because it can do a computer, can't you? Maths, English, and Janet, our Janet that's now teaching there, is doing speech therapy with David. And she's really, she's really doing well. So say, t tell us again your name and how old you are. My name is David David and I'm 10 years old. You see, it, now that is amazing because he couldn't form his words, he couldn't speak properly, but Janet really has spent a lot of time with him and he's doing ever so well now. What do you want to do when you leave school? Uncle. An uncle? I thought you wanted to be a driver. You're going to be a driver? Where are you going to drive to, did you say? Auntie Libby. Going to go and see Auntie Libby, aren't you, when you can drive? Are you ready, Libby? He's coming. <laughs> So I want to thank everybody, you've been kind and generous with the donations and it has been hard for us, it has been tight because you come and you visit and you're so generous and all the things that are brought and so we have missed you, not just for that, but we've missed the love and the friendships that we share and the, the pleasure the children have of seeing their own sponsor. They love it when somebody comes to visit or even if you email them, Evans now will go through the emails with the child or send an up-to-date photograph of yourself. It's always nice for the children to know somebody beyond the happy house also loves them. So I hope you're enjoying more freedom. I hope you've got some good weather. We've had very heavy rain which everybody's clapping their hands because everybody who planted maize the first crop failed. So then we had to buy seed again for the second crop because we didn't get the rain on time. So but now we've had quite a lot and in the nights we're getting a lot of rain. So everybody's clapping their hands and it's God given, isn't it? Yes. It's a blessing from heaven is the rain for us here. Some days we just get enough to wash the dust off the sun, which is nice, but other days it rains heavy, doesn't it? Do you like the rain? Pardon? Yes. Oh. So thank you for everything, thank you for loving us and caring about us and we, fingers crossed it won't be too long before all the restrictions are lifted and you can come home to us. So you take care and thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.